I'm about to spaz out. Period. Let's go. I'm about to spaz out. All right. You ready for this? I'm ready. Big ready. <clears throat> I threw my dick in the ocean and that shit started floating. <laughs> Bitches thought it was the Loch Ness. Long neck like the Glock I'm toting. <laughs> See, I ain't no myth, and I ain't gon' miss. Ooh. My new bitch a pirate, I gave her that gold booty bliss. <laughs> wow. I put my treasure in her map. Now she follows my ex. Wow, okay. She pulled out the strap. Oh, and I ain't talking Lizzie sex. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I was following. And I don't know when I wrote this, but towards the end, I was like, wait, wait, where's this going? <laughs> <laughs> she pulled out the strap. Like, oh, it's about to get nasty in here. Pirate bars. I got you. Pirate bars. Okay. Okay. You ready? Gold booty bliss. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was I really flames. did. I thought it was quite good. All right. You a freaky frog. Oh. I'm sitting still like a bump on a log. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You threw a penny in my pond. Wishing you could get my attention. Got you waving like Potter's wand. Harry Potter. Oh. Oh. It's a little long at the end, but I like throwing a penny in my well. <laughs> I got you wishing. That's kind of that's kind of. You can make this pussy swell. Um, I said throw a penny in my well. Got you wishing you make the pussy swell. Oh yeah, it's a weird way of putting it, but yeah, I like that line. <laughs> I like the I like the metaphor. Yeah, very magical. Hey, because a wishing well mm -hmm. is based on magic, mm -hmm. and then you ended it with Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. That was pretty. But the only fucked up part about this is I didn't say well. I said pond. Oh, uh, you said wishing pond? No, threw a penny in my pond. You know how, like, people will throw pennies in, like, fountains and shit or mm -hmm. coins in fountains? So I'm like, he threw a penny in my... Got you wishing. I'm okay with it. Ah! I'm okay with it. I like Ooh. the bandana thing. You do? Yeah. I'm about to start fucking... Slicing leaves and branches with a machete. With a, oh, I thought you meant like a switchblade. Because <laughs> I feel like you could have been in the background of the bad video. The bad video? I Michael was thinking Jackson. more like... You know, them old school thugs. Apocalypto. Yeah. You see it? I'm thinking more like a 90s gang with a weak name. Why you gotta be a weak name? Because you know how like before like the cool names like Bloods and Crips, they had like names that sounded like a uh, like football the teams, cool, like cool. the Sharks. What's the <laughs> <laughs> the Jets? <laughs> it looked like you you toted a mean switchblade for the Jets. <laughs> cool in the gang. <laughs> yeah. The niggas who walked down the street like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Their weapons were just loose chains. Like where the hell you get a chain? <laughs> Damn, don't do me like that. I look like I would whoop a bitch. Um, okay, so opening raps. They hit. They hit it's today. not bad. I'd be you didn't on hate my it. Podcast. Yeah, that was a good one. That was one of your best. Hey! You know what? I'm so mad because the bonus hole one put me at a level that I feel like it's hard for me to reach. Yeah, you still haven't, you still haven't passed it. I know, and people remind me of that in the comment section. They'd be like, oh, it was cool. It ain't bonus whole level. And I'm just like... I think my new holy grail is... Um, I mean, I might beat it with this one today. I'm not even going to lie. But my Powerpuff Girls, I got three hoes on the way like Mojo Jojo. Mojo, jo uh -huh. That might be the the best thing I ever said, period. Um, Just on a podcast. Oh, okay. On a podcast. Because I was about to say, we sitting on some fire from We Trip. What? The Drive. Oh, the freestyle. Utah. Woo! Oh, none of that. Y'all don't than, understand. None of that's better than Mojo Jojo. Shit. You crazy in your head. No, oh, maybe. Yes. I was spitting. <laughs> you was going crazy. We, we, I mean, I guess we, uh, we, we advertised Grizzly Tales on the last episode. So make sure you watch We Trippin'. We it should trippin'. be out by now. 
Um, yeah. If it will be. If we're well, in November. This should be out. We are Utah? in the fall season. No, 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 not Utah. Oh, okay. Just we tripping in general. Maybe we'll um, maybe we'll start giving people previews because we honestly, should. it doesn't matter if it's really, really far in advance. Like. Mm-hmm. Last year, when we went to Delaware, mm-hmm. we dropped Frightland. Right. And that was before We Trippin' was even out. That was a year right. before it. For so sure. now we're we're dropping that episode, and I feel like we have a lot of new people watching. So I got y'all, man. There's a whole nother side of him that got super bars that y'all have not seen. Whole another side? No. I got one side, and it has bars. No, no. Your, your, your bars, when you don't know you being recorded, top Are Better tier. than when I know I'm being recorded? Yep. <laughs> Yep. That's a terrible artist. No, no, because it's natural. <laughs> that is a terrible no, rapper. It's natural. When you you just I, got, I don't I need, know what I was need in candid, you. Candid bars. What did we eat? We must have ate something good because whatever it was, you were spitting, and whatever that's not the was. first time you did it either. I'm sure, so I, I'm sure there was <laughs> marijuana in me as well. All right, you got a whole different voice too. Like I, I said, oh, I got a hey, voice. Hey, oh, I was I was putting on the rasp. No, you didn't really put it on yeah, in the freestyle, yeah, but I usually don't. I I want I want to hear that voice live though one day. My raspy voice. No, yeah, the, this is it. The, this the, is my rap voice. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I'm just not rapping right now. No, it's not. This is the filter that I put on my voice when I rap. You sound like a soft DMX. Hey, that's hilarious. Like <laughs> lowercase DMX. <laughs> <laughs> Where are my puppies at? <laughs> Right. It's okay if you guys aren't here. <laughs> All right. Like I said, <laughs> November is the 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 month of me. I'm only doing tweets from my own Twitter account, and oh. it's not going it's not going Persephone tweet crazy, but it's going Pat tweet crazy. Okay. My ingenious question. These are all original too. I'm no no reposts, no redos. This was mine for this day. Mm-hmm. Question. Ooh. Has anyone ever put on a movie to get in the mood, but the movie was too good? Ooh. You ended up being too invested to smash. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you, not only are my responses great movies that I feel like it would happen to me too, mm-hmm. also some good advice. Okay. Some good advice that me myself can take. <laughs> <laughs> what about okay. yourself? That is a hilarious thread, by Thank the way. You. I really like that. Um, mine is a a, a ho story. Ho, a Miami ho story from you? No, you don't got no ho stories from Miami. I everybody I has one. a ho story in Miami. I do have one. Okay, are you gonna share from it? when I was? Huh? You gonna share it? I can. Yes. Ain't no thing. But uh, mine's is not a trifling one. Okay. So. Um, okay. So you want to hear the host story or. Wait, is the host story just the, that's the name of the thread? Uh, the Miami Ooh. host story. That's Miami what, host It doesn't story. have a title. That's pretty good. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm going to go first. Okay. Because the stories, the stories be storying. <laughs> so mine is just a quick list. Okay. Might as well. Uh, again, question. Has anyone ever put on a movie to get in the mood, but the movie was too good? You ended up being too invested to smash. All right. Um, First off, people just put on movies so that they can smash. Is that what we're doing? Is that the setup? Yeah. Shit. Because, I mean, if you think about it, you guys are chilling. Uh, you kind of want something passive to do. Now it's not like both both parties are like looking at each other, like, "All right, it's time to smash, put on a movie." Because if they were on the same page like that, they would have just started smashing, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, usually I'm and I'm only speaking speaking from the dude's point of view, hosting. Oh, because okay. it's like you're at the crib, you know, y'all chilling, y'all vibing. And then there comes that time where it's like, all right, let's just lay down somewhere. Oh wow! You know what I mean? Let's <laughs> this put whole on a time. little. Oh, you guys just thought this it was whole entertaining. Time I'm thinking, oh, there's a good movie that he wants to watch. Let's watch. Yeah, the good that could movie. be. Could but be. you're putting on low key, probably mid movies, so that you could just get right into wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Now and- that has something to do with my thread. <laughs> 
because that's not what I do. That's what I need to start doing. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm just saying that is like it's just like a way for y'all to get comfortable and then if you know she's a, a, in agreement you know then the movie could turn off the movie could stay on in the background that's why Netflix did the whole are you still watching because if it's just been on either you fell asleep you left or you just clapping cheeks and they're just like hey, you, hey you've, you've been still want this on my, my, my boy but I really thought it was we're trying to find something good to watch to what just to to, to watch to, to watch and, and then, sometimes it is like that you and if know, you're not a creep and the girl you might like try a little something or just be waiting to see what she's on and if both of those fail then maybe that is the move maybe she's just like I ain't come over for that I'm just trying to watch the movie then it's like oh, okay for sure like we're just watching the movie right but more than likely if if they put something on they invite you over and they put a movie on it's like we get in the draws. So now, that's depending. Damn. Wait, wait, wait. That's also depending on where you are in the relationship. That's like trying for the first time type stuff. If y'all are just consistently smashing, that's not the case. More than likely, right. you guys are just You're watching actually the movie, looking for something good and to then, watch. And then, you know, if y'all are like that, which I hope y'all are, y'all can just pause it and be like, I'm trying to fuck real quick, you know. Pause. I mean, if if it's a constant thing, then you could just go right into it. It's not like a little like ha ha. We already laying down type thing. I <laughs> did <laughs> <laughs> the voice too. <laughs> All right. So I really like this. Uh, I really like this answer. So uh, this and this is a woman, black woman. Shout out to her, Period. chocolate child. She said, "Never. I've never finished the first Pirates of the Caribbean, and I've started it in uh, several times in different relationships." <laughs> God. Is that her like That's her smash movie that's her, oh, Jesus Never finished But Like That's why I respect that answer Because she wants to see it So she's invested She's not just like Let me put on this thing I've it's seen a million times quite a good times. movie And She keeps putting it on Like that's her That's like That's like some pimp shit Like she's on some nigga shit Like she Puts it on With different dudes That's and fucking player time? And never knows How Jack Sparrow get, Gets the Gold? How the hell does that movie end? Well, let's not go there. All right. Was that um, my tweet? No. <laughs> Is that your just, movie? No, 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 no. I don't do that. <laughs> uh, Django, who appears on this show quite a bit, um, <laughs> says, yeah, tax collector. Tax collector. Tax collector being too good to smash is pretty wild. Is that when they come back and they collect uh, body parts? Oh, that sounds good. So, uh, no, I'm thinking a Repo Man. I'm sorry. Okay. Repo Man. That's when they... I love this one. Y'all ever stopped mid-smash and got a good laugh in before y'all continued? This was more of a Martin or Fresh Prin Prince type of vibe, though, I think. I have absolutely heard something funny being played. And yeah, she stopped You're... and laughed too. Oh shit! You've never you've you've never from been... a show, no. From a show or movie, but from something that happened between us. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But I'm just saying, like from like a like a movie playing in the background. <laughs> no, but it's like <laughs> commercials when the wrong commercial comes on and you just hear <laughs> certain <laughs> phrases. You're like. <laughs> Start laughing. It's a funny moment Fucking when you guys are both trying to ignore everything else, but something was just so funny, you guys got to laugh. When like they were that. selling, uh, what was it, holy water? It wasn't holy water, but it was like holy water in a bottle. Why <laughs> oh, is that funny? They sold it because the the ad for it was just fucking ridiculous. Oh, it was a real ad? Yes, it was an infomercial. Where how do you make water holy? <laughs> You know, they just be Pray like, oh, it. somebody prayed, a, a priest prayed over this. <laughs> like, they prayed over this bottle or the whole water vet and then just started packaging it up. I always wondered that. I'm they like, pray over the factory. <laughs> yeah, like the nigga don't even get out the car. <laughs> <laughs> He's for the building. And the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. All right, keep driving. <laughs> somebody said, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Listen, I would never put that on if I was trying to smash. Great movie. Oh, I think I, I recently saw that and I mm -hmm. watched the whole thing through. Fire. Bless you. Uh, Excuse me. Thank somebody you. said, I'm going to say it, but love. <laughs> Bless you. I'm so sorry. Someone said, Love Jones back in the day caught me slipping, but it was worth the wait. Okay. Someone I still said, haven't uh, seen Love Jones. I wasn't going to say it first, but I haven't either. <laughs> uh, someone said a few times. Uh, someone said, The movie never got played. 
damn. He gets straight to it. Right. I have a so see. That's the thing. I have some like uh, decorum. Decorum. I'm so glad you said that <laughs> because I was thinking of the name and I almost said quorum. I have. I, I said I, I, I have some quorum, and I was just like, I don't think I know this word. And then you said it. You saved me. Um, I got you. But it's like. When I was younger, I did the whole like, and I know this works on some with some dudes. Let me give you women. a massage. No, no, no. I should. That's a good. That's that's kind of played out. Yeah. That worked on me. But there that have been times work. I would like get to the girl's house and immediately get to it, and they'd be like, "Damn, we can't hang out anymore." Mm-hmm. And I feel like that scarred me so much that like, as it should, even when a woman is like, "Come over," unless she's like specifically like, "Come over to get this pussy" type shit. I'll like hang out with them for a little bit. I don't want to just get right to it, you know. Mm-hmm. I think that that's they feel like, oh, you know. I don't know what the time limit is, but I just when he says the movie never got played, I feel like if I played it and by the don ton I was trying to do something, mm-hmm. I feel like they'd be like, hey, 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 you're a mm-hmm. creep. I don't know. Look, there's slick ways about doing it. It's like give us game. It's first off the positioning of how you're sitting during the film. True. So do's and don'ts. Right. You could start off with an arm around or even your hand to your side. Put it on and then, you know, dun 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 hand on poop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> shoulder, you know, then maybe put your head down on their shoulder. Maybe lay in the lap. Once I've laid you, in the lap. Once you lay in the lap, you know, you can turn your head certain ways. And if you feel a response, a little shift up or whatnot. Oh, and then you just get straight to the, the eating. If that's what you, if that's, yeah, you you could rub, you know. This is good. I think this is good information, guys. Take your pencils out. Because what are, it's, what are it's some... you're testing, you're, you're, you're slowly testing the waters. And those tests are not necessarily uncomfortable mm-hmm. for, you know, for someone like me. Like, if he put his head on my shoulder, I'm not going to be uncomfortable. Right. You know what I'm saying? So There's even if I wasn't jumping the gun a little bit, <laughs> right? Sometimes niggas just want to go straight to the head lap. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I just think That's there's, great advice. Like, you know, there's different ways to. I mean, y'all don't really be doing this, but you could give a little foot massage. You know what I'm saying? Offer a foot massage. I feel like a lot of guys don't like you're crossing into creepy though, because Uh, niggas niggas are creepy with Mm -hmm. the feet. So if you're immediately just like, "Hey, can I massage your feet?" If she's not already like there, that might be like, "Eh, but not necessarily be like, "Let me give you a foot massage." But like I said, it's all about the positioning. So there's different just starting to do ways to sit. So you could sit down and have her put her like just legs over your lap. Okay, you know where it's not too much, but it is like it's intimate, but it's not too much, but it's comfortable. Also, gold by the way, you know, huh? This is gold by the way. (laughs) And then, you know, you could just, like, barely, like, rub her shins, you know, if she has, even if she has on pants. You like, like a just good like, shin massage? I'm, I'm, it's not even a massage. It's just, like, you know, watching the movie, just, like. Just touches. It's just, like, little touches. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? And then if you do touch her feet or whatnot, it, she might respond. She might not. She might be like, oh, this is welcoming. Or if she's like, <laughs> No. Right. You know, or then, if she like then, repositions and gets uh-huh. them away, then it's like, all right, we watching the movie. We watching the movie, exactly. <laughs> and Just so stop, you never guys. get to a point, <laughs> you never get to a point where she's like, he did too much or whatnot. And I think a lot of guys go, they make stronger like, whoa, moves. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You never yeah. want to hear whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but there's just ways to test the water and to keep everybody, you know, comfortable. And then if you know she if she moves like you know she put her foot more in your lap or whatnot you know there's ways to let him know like i'm foot job see that's that's an example of going too far yes you went from from rubbing shins to right too much too much uh, (laughs) 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 but yeah so i know certain things have have worked on me um and yeah, the head and the lap thing. But at the same time, those things are from somebody that I want I or I'm 
on the fence, and I'm like, hmm, maybe should I, should I not? We so start the watching rub, the movie. The shin rub can throw you over the fence. It could. Good little shin If rub. we got a glass of wine that we're drinking. Sometimes I feel like guys will go straight to, let me give you some hard liquor. You know, sometimes it's... That'd be suspect. It'd be like, hey, welcome to my crib. Yeah. Get messed up. Um, I think that's also a very old way of courting, too. I it think is. that just getting a girl drunk, even tipsy, it's just really not the move anymore. Right. I think that's a little weird. It's, it, it's been weird. If but... you can't get them while they have a clear mind, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, <laughs> I mean, like, win them over. I think that y'all should bring black. Bring, bring black. black. Yeah, bring it black. Right. I think y'all should bring back flowers. I think. Did those go giving, anywhere? Uh, I can't tell you. I'm the big last on flowers. Time I, re- I received a, a bouquet of flowers. I'm big <laughs> on flowers. Well, Usually for like gifts. Well, so for dates, I'm saying for mm-hmm. dates. If you know that you are. I don't know the last time I did that though. I can't tell you the last time I received some some flowers. It's been a long time. But that, for me, I mean, I feel like, I don't know if if men got lazy Mm -hmm. or whatnot, or if it's just like, I don't know if I like her, so I don't want to spend. Because that's kind of what we... Well, y'all changed, too. I'm not not saying that we haven't. All I'm saying is, if there's a goal... If there's a goal in mind... Mm -hmm. Like you want to sleep with a woman, that's a it's kind of that's kind of a big deal to me. So I would think that you would want to do certain things that make women feel good. But I feel that, like materialism has skyrocketed in the dynamic of a relationship. It used to honestly, relationships used to be like dude on a knee with flowers mm-hmm. throwing rocks like please <laughs> please fuck me and the women were just like yeah, I don't know no, but now it's niggas like cheated and is trying to get her to come back but those are niggas throwing rocks at the windows on their okay, knees okay 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 I'm just talking about just it don't have to be you know uh, three dozen long stem white rose it don't have to be long that stem. long stem I gotta throw on the long stem um, it's it don't uh, <laughs> it don't have to be that I mean it can be but it don't have to be that. It could be just a dozen, like, but you know, think about... Here's how hip-hop works. Well, we ain't... Oh, my God. <laughs> think about how you feel when you walk into a flower shop. I love flowers. You love flowers, right? It, it like, just makes you smile. Maybe put a little... It, it, up your mood a little bit, you know? But it's weird now because... Why is it weird? Now, we're in an age where unless you are, a like... Rapper level rich, mm-hmm. it's not cool to get a girl anything. I feel like that's a misconception. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just let me, just let me. Th- okay, it, it, I'm gonna let in you. In terms cook. of the internet and mm-hmm. how we judge each other, it's like getting a woman the simplest things that used to be normal. You're mm-hmm. a simp now. So mm-hmm. now flowers and all that stuff is like extra simp loser. But then on the flip side of it, you guys don't make it any better because. A lot of y'all are like the cheesecake girl or like, you know, like, I don't do this. I don't take this, blah, 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 blah. So it's almost like unless you ball it out of your mind, doing little stuff is lame. And then if you're balling, then like the crazy good stuff like Birkins, that's cool. I'm going to tell you something. Cheesecake Factory is still in business for a reason. These bitches is going to Cheesecake Factory. Okay, we getting the but miso salmon. Saying, we getting the motherfucking there's spinach a, There's dip. a stigma. We getting the brown bread. There's a I'm, stigma. I'm just going to say this. Stigma. The internet, the internet and social media <laughs> is completely different than real life. Absolutely. And in real life, women love flowers. Mm-hmm. So you can still, in real life. We'll be looking lame. No, you don't. And That's then the, the niggas thing. who do get I've flowers watched, be getting stood up and then no, they look extra lame. I've watched videos on the internet of a nigga g- getting flowers from the lady on the corner selling the roses and giving them to, giving one flower to women on the street and these women are just like oh my god I haven't received flowers in so long because and it's, it's player to give somebody a, a random rose. person a rose and then walk off no. that's player that doesn't seem lame Wow, but, but somebody you're interested in. You ever you seen can't a, 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 a slow motion scene of a nigga <laughs> dropping flowers because his heart was broken? 
You ever seen them? They show up to the the thing, and then they were like, he, "She be with another nigga," and she he dropped the flowers, and they hit the floor in slow motion. Yes, but that's different. Why? Does, She's with another nigga. Why is every movie do, do that scene in slow motion, and why is it always flowers? Because because flowers, flowers signify like I'm into you, and then y'all do y'all little thing, and we seem lame. No. Oh my god. I don't god. disagree with you. I'm just <laughs> I know you don't. You. But... <laughs> fellas. <laughs> fellas, pick up the habit of grabbing flowers. Listen to also. It's it's key to understand what kind of flower she likes too. Mhm. It's but, it's nothing to figure that out. It's very easy. In the unless, day of social media, she in, might have it plastered all over her page. In a relationship. I feel like women, the same reason why you said uh she he was giving out random mm-hmm. uh that was just a, a random nice thought. And I feel like when I get flowers, it's for a gift. So like the type of flowers that the woman wants isn't really like that important. Like honestly, like mm-hmm. the last two people I gave flowers to was my sister and my mom, uh, my brother's baby mama who just had a baby. Mm-hmm. I don't know what type of flowers they like, mm-hmm. but just like the. But that's not a romantic. Exactly. So I'm just saying, like, if it's not romantic, which I don't think the dude who was giving out on the street, then it's right. just like, oh, flowers, thank you for mm-hmm. thinking of me. Um, but haven't you seen the videos where the guys, like, give out, like, I don't know, there was there was a video recently where a guy was like, I bought all these flowers. He went up to a cop and was like, I bought all these flowers. Can you help me deliver them to just different people? And so the cop went around giving these I bouquets take no flower to the, from no cop b- bouquets of flowers to these women and women were literally like tearing up i'm telling you i'm giving you game right now that flowers are not out of style um the internet will make you think that certain things are lame that women still really do love they make you think opening the door is lame they make you think I you slam. Know, giving... I slam doors on women. Oh, okay. Well, well, there you have it. On um, purpose, even if it was open I'm, already. I'm sure. And there's some women that probably like that. Mm, mm-hmm. And, and that, like, that's drop like draws. Them. Bam! Slam the door like in my them. face. Drop draws. Mm-hmm. Um. So there's just chivalry is not dead. There's some oh guys I know the formula it's on life out support. there. It ain't. It ain't. <laughs> it's well, not yeah, dead. Because, it's on life support. Because the internet because is rappers. making people think that is dead. Because internet. But, because of rappers. Here you go again. You know what? <laughs> I'm going. All right. Hey, God. Let me just uh, do my last one. Okay. Um, wait, wait. No. So, sorry. Second to last one. Okay. Third to last one. This girl put on ra- Waiting to Exhale, and that was my first time watching it. We ain't do nothing but go to sleep after it went off. Hey, that shit's Facts. good. <laughs> and then a dude said, my girl wanted to watch Fifty Shades of Grey. In my mind, I, I get what he's saying. Sexual movie. About three-fourths in, she wanted to smash. I was like, hold up. Let me see how this ends. I have absolutely There's been there. No way that I would finish watching Fifty Shades of It Grey. seems like a sexual movie, so I feel like I would be able to smash during it. But mm-hmm. I have seen a movie that was like, hang on, hang on, I want to see this. Uh, and then the last one, I think, is the best advice. It says, that's why you only put on movies that you have seen. <laughs> that is 100% my problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, because for me, it's like, oh, we're hanging out. Let's watch this new movie together. And then my ass, if I get sucked in, I'm not getting sucked off. All right. You hear me? Oh shit. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. I'm about to give I'm about to give the fellas a game, a, some game right now. Hell yeah. There's a movie. Two actually. Oh, it's you called, got the go tos? Mm-hmm. Three hundred and sixty five days. It's a Spanish film. But the sex in that movie is fantastic. Yeah. The sequel, three hundred sixty-five days later. Oh, they they uh, they did it like that zombie movie. They turned days? it up. Is it a is it a porno? It is not. It is on it. Well, it was on Netflix. It premiered on Netflix. Three sixty-five, and then three sixty-five days later. So basically, the premise is 
um, this rich guy kidnaps this woman Whoa. and tells her she basically has a year to fall in love with him. Oh, or I'm else. deleting this. <laughs> she... You want to put on a sex trafficking no, movie? No, no, no. But once, like, she has the freedom to kind of leave, he really falls for her. So it's like... But he kidnaps it, her. So she's originally. A originally. But it's kind of like... The... So it's Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> yes, it's kind of like that. Okay, guys, but, delete this. But please don't do this. Do not delete this. Do not please, delete this. Do not delete do this. this. No, de- please don't follow this It's such one. a good movie. All of her advice was she bet 100 and then she just nose down. I'm telling you, watch it for yourself. Watch a it on your own. Sex trafficking movie where he falls for a hostage. But it's not really like that. So I don't even know how to explain because it's not really, she's not kept in chains and like locked up. How is she kidnapped? No shit like that. How is she kidnapped? I'm not going to tell you that because that's I the first want, part of the, that's I the want first them to part watch of the movie. The no, spo- movie. It's no spoilers. You already spoil said she was kidnapped. Part. You already said she was kidnapped. Did a van pull up and, <laughs> and grab like her? Like gorilla style? No, no. So it was no. a gentle kidnapping? I can't tell you she all was, that. You, she was stolen. <laughs> Okay, guys, her uh, her her advice Mm-mm. ends right before that. Let's it's hear a, your, a let's great hear your movie. Thread. I want your credibility. Three sixty five and three sixty five days later. Damn, I thought we was really about to learn some shit, fellas. Three sixty five days later, the sex in there stolen again. Crazy. Is that like no. taken too? No, no, no. It's different. So they're just they're past the whole they're hostage past thing. All that, yeah. Okay. And there's some twists in there that are Wait, it, amazing. Is it called 365? Because mm-hmm. like she was a kidnapped. Year. She was kidnapped for a year. That was the. That's the name of the movie. Wow, you really just suggested that with your whole chest. It was on Netflix. All right, you ready for the what I call it? The Miami Ho story. Yeah, I am. I'm All right. Ready. This is actually. <laughs> A guy I know, Marcus Two Braids, posted this. Marcus Two Braids. Marcus Two Braids. Okay. <laughs> so when I read it, it made me laugh. All right. He flew her out to Miami. This IG baddie from the real Atlanta booked them a room at Kempton Epic, but bro only had a hot twelve fifty to play with. So one thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, that's about that. To play with twelve fifty. First night. Dinner at Mila, $450. Okay. Bottle and hookah at Pilo's in Wynwood, $550. This is from the dude's point of view. Mm hmm. That's why. Zero dollars first night, bro spent 1000 quick, fast. So he spent $1,000 just on dinner and bottle service at, and hookah. Okay. On one lady. Mm hmm. Um, she told him maybe tomorrow for the cat. So she she first night she didn't give up the cat. But she they planned it. I don't know how That's the, interesting. I'll give you pussy but, tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. You Lay, know, I'm tired. Put it on layaway. I'm drunk. You know, she might have been drunk. Oh, I'm good drunk. for that. Go to you know, fall if have, asleep. If I have too good of a time, yeah. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, go to sleep. <laughs> maybe tomorrow. The next day, his budget was two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, he dropped it a K. So we went from twelve hundred. Hey, that makes sense to me. To two hundred fifty. Zero dollars. Bro copped a Don Reposado and Moet Rose from the store um, for one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. All right. He tried to play the beautiful pool area, then co-star in Balcony Backshot Mania. So basically, what? he's like. Hey, let's go to the pool and chill, you know, and then come back and try to fuck. Backshot mania? Backshot mania. Okay. Poolside in a thong kini, she asked him, hey, what we doing tonight, babes? I thought he was wearing the thong kini. I was no. like, hey, yo. She- <laughs> he stared at her and then softly mumbled, probably just catch a vibe in the room. Bad move. She told him, nah, what? I'm going to find me something to do. I didn't come here to just stay inside a room. Sis started hitting up her homegirls and professional ball players via text. I'm in town. We outside tonight oh, with nah. the devil face. Oh, he should have seen this coming. <laughs> professional ball players <laughs> immediately just because she said we catching a vibe. We in a room tonight. What about like, no, let's brainstorm some <laughs> stuff to do. You are, You immediately went to hitting up 
Jimmy Butler. <laughs> She ended up linking up with this Miami Heat player and giving him the coochie in five positions after going to Playa and Booby Trap. Is that... What's Playa? I know Booby Trap. Are those both strip clubs? I don't know. Hmm. But I'm guessing it's the spot. I, I didn't know Booby Trap. Wow. Meanwhile, Reggie, who flew her out, watched her stories all night, seen her post a video inside a Rolls Royce, slanted neck on purpose... Yep, to get to that show logo. the logo, seeing her post three thousand dollars in singles at the trap, bro replied to the story with "What the hell?" and that's that that disappointed face looking to the side. Mm-hmm. Smoked a skimpy spliff on the balcony, then texts her, "Come get your stuff." She ignored him. She got back to the telly via black truck at 7 a.m., stumbled in the room off 1942 and Ace. Her cat was battered and extra soggy. Bro was knocked out under the blanket with a blah GG scene. Who's telling the story? Sorry. I don't know. I'm just, this is just oh. the story that's being told on okay. his account. Around 10 a.m., he woke up on a thousand, tried to smash it before checkout. Access denied you ready you ready for this she let him eat it though (laughs) we were talking about the flowers this episode right (laughs) yes this is why this is why. Maybe if he would have got her flowers, she'd have gave up the because coochie sooner. y'all make it seem like instead of flowers, I need tickets. Instead of flowers, I need a dinner at the craziest hotel ever. <sighs> nah, she had the ball player hit for the free ski. For, I mean, not free, but I'm sure. Damn. Look. I mean, she had $3,000 worth of singles and was uh, partying all night. Not even been hers. That is a horror story. That should have been called the Miami Horror Story. <laughs> Somebody said the Miami Horror Story. <laughs> What's great? Well, I mean, he already called it a whole story. So, And um, bro still probably texting her good morning every day. <laughs> the fact that he ate it at the end is like tragic. But that just shows, that just shows me what type of dude he is, though. But, oh my God. The fact that he was like, Catch a vibe in the house, which I'm not going to lie. A lot of dudes be messing up by being like, hey, we we just in the house tonight. You got to be more creative than that. But the fact that her saying, oh, no, I don't want to be in the house. I want to be outside. Didn't include him at all. <laughs> it's like, no. Nah. Oh, we inside? No, I'm outside <laughs> by myself. <laughs> Coming back at 7 a.m. is wild. <laughs> Like, I at least, if I was a baddie <laughs> and I was flown out, I would at least have the decorum. Yes, come on, decorum. To 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 stay with who, especially with, if I was hmm. sleeping there. Mm-hmm. Like, to go off the boldness of going off smashing somebody else and then just pulling back up at the hotel, like, whatever, mm-hmm. is insane. Because she knew that nothing was going to happen to her stuff. Right. She wouldn't have had a return she flight. She what type of dude this was. Oh, my God. Jump. And he didn't buy flowers, and he was still, like, considered lame. I would have absolutely gotten the credit for that flight back. Oh, yeah. And then... She I, sunned him. I'm not the type of person to just throw your stuff, unless you were like, oh, that, was, she, that was pretty disrespectful. But I would, mm-hmm. I would put all her stuff at the front. <laughs> Somebody said... He t- he tasted layups and three pointers before checking out. <laughs> Tasting layups is crazy. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga uh, licked a finger roll. <laughs> <laughs> Lick the alley oop. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga was sucking on a mean crossover. <laughs> Ew. Wow. wow. Flying coochie to Miami is wild. Bro could a round trip to LA and hit Figueroa for 300 A round trip to get a to get a prostitute is actually kind of crazy. It's wild. You know, so uh, um that is that is the one of the worst fears. Yeah, that's tough. that is. But I honestly like you got to know who you're dealing with 
because she sounds like like I I feel for the people the dudes who is just like out of nowhere like a sweet little girl from Miss you know just Miss uh, Corn Fed from some little little farm town Mm-mm. and then they get around niggas and ball players and don't know how to act and it's out of nowhere that's one thing but a lot of times like you know based on your y'all first few interactions that like oh as soon as I'm in don't take her to All Star Weekend right. there's a lot of don't take her to All Star Weekend type chicks out here and absolutely I know that there were signs so okay so Miami. Mm-hmm. For me, oh, personal. Well, well, before I even go into my personal story, because I'm gonna give a little, a little shanty note. Um, you gotta know who you taking. Like for him to take her, clearly he knew the spots to hit. Mm-hmm. So he just wasn't that dude, and he was trying to play at a level that he didn't understand. Because he had the money. Because he had a little bit of money, he he thought like, you know, so he ended up just getting completely shit on. Mm -hmm. Completely. And he's out of $1,250 for it. Now, the thing about understanding how hotels work, (laughs) did you put her name on the room? Because if you didn't, why would you be crying? I'm guar- I guarantee he was crying watching the stories all night. If he's watching her stories all night and everywhere she's going, he probably shed a tear because mm-hmm. he's already out he of twelve hundred and fifty dollars because right. he spent his budget already. Right. So now you sitting in a hotel room that more than likely only your name is on. So you're saying she could have been denied access back in? Absolutely. Her stuff could have been in the lobby. She came back at 7 and he still tried to smash, couldn't, and still ate the box. Which means he was trying to get any sliver he could And that's where she she clocked that he was that type of dude from jump. Before she was even out there. So she knew. Because it's a bold move to take the flight, take the hotel with no intentions of ever doing that. Because the fact she said maybe night two, I'm even thinking if he did a repeat of the night one, she might have because she was bored. But I think that she already knew. She probably was talking to the dude she met up with already. It was probably already in the plans. Mm -hmm. Then people knew she was going to be out there already. Because the dude she liked was probably like, I ain't flying your ass out here. Don't worry. I got I'll someone who will. I'll be there. Yep. I'll be there. Don't worry about how I'm getting there. It's a tragedy. Don't worry about where I'm staying or who I'm staying with. Just know, baby, I'm showing up for you. I mean, how you get them a lot of times is how you lose them. And I think that some dudes, they'll clock a girl. I'm just taking your word. They'll clock a girl that's like, oh, she responds to this. She responds mm-hmm. to the life. She responds to the money. She responds to this, this, and this. So he tried to do the bare minimum of that, which to him was everything. It mm-hmm. was like, I know how much I have. So for me to spend this much, hey, look, I'm have you in this thing, have you in this thing, have you in this thing. But if that's what they're attracted to, you there's only two options. Either she's had that already and at a way higher rate, so she's not even that impressed by it. Or she's impressed by it and she's like, oh, I like this. Mm-hmm. This person can give me more of that. And you there. lose really quickly with both of that. Because she made once it. you put them in that pond, there's way bigger fish that Ooh. what you did is nothing. So if she responds to that and then don't let Odell Beckham be there, he'll be like, $1,200, $1, that's it. it. All this and then what made her like you is just like, well, shit, I'm, this is way more cracking. Mm-hmm. So I feel like you just got to know what it is. But I kind of have to know your word. audience. It's like if if you're <laughs> like at a point where you're like, dang, I think she responds to this. So I have to keep her away from this lifestyle or she'll get swooped up. You already lost. Yeah. Just don't. Just don't. Right. <laughs> just you're not don't. there. You're not just that don't. guy. <laughs> just don't. She's not that girl and you're not that guy. Absolutely. You got to you got to know your audience. All right, you got a whole story? Um, oh, damn, you wasn't letting me get away with that. Uh-uh. So it's, it's okay. So I was talking to this NFL player, and, um, and he flew me out to Miami. Mm hmm. Um, because he, he a dolphin. For. Okay. Um, actually, no, no, no. He didn't play for the Dolphins, he, he played for, um, he played for the Ravens. Um, that's far. Uh huh. But it was off season. Ah. Uh, so he flew me out, and we have been talking for some months mm-hmm. online. You know. Um. So 
I felt like I knew him a little bit. You know, uh, I, there are certain things that I didn't know about him before I took this trip. Did or didn't? Did not. Okay. Um, and so I flew out and we stayed at the W. Nice. And a really nice hotel. Mm-hmm. Um, and we, we, we vibed. And when it came time for that. The cooch sale. Uh, yeah. Not sale, my bad. Sale. My bad. Um, when it <laughs> came time for the romance, <laughs> um, he pulled it out and it was probably this fucking big. Oh. It was gigantic. He had a hammer on him. He, <laughs> he had the shit on him. And I was just like. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not the schlong. <laughs> the big, the, the schlong schlong. The, the, I was just like, it looked like one of them big ass dongs in the fucking sex store that you would think nobody would buy, but people actually uh, buy. Oh, shit. You know? Um, and so I was just like, oh my God, like, how do I get out of this? Like, how can you I You weren't get even out like, there this? wasn't a, a piece of you that was like, all right, I'm gonna just. Take it. I'm gonna fit it in. I was not turned on. I was just like, it's Damn. too big. It's, it's, it's. it's not, that's just not sexy. But I felt like, okay, we, we, he flew me out. We we. You're we like went time to, to pay the, the piper. The, the, the time to pay. I, 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 the to, towel. Man, I felt like I sat on a pole. I felt like I sat. So on you went a through pole. with it. I could. I went through with it. Did it go in? Not really. I felt like I was a, you know how you like spinning on the top, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And so the next day, he wanted to do it again, and I was just battered and bruised. Damn, I was just like I can't do this. So I didn't, and he was so mad at me. And I was, it wasn't like he wasn't angry or no shit like that. But he uh-huh. was just. But like, you told him you the could reason, tell right? The, the disappointment. You told him the reason, right? No, I didn't. I didn't say it was too big. I don't want to seem like you know. Right, but at least that's better than like because now it seems like you seem like the first girl who's mm-hmm. just like no, I I was flown out and I'm not giving it up. But if I you did just give like, it up. If you were just like the schlong's too big, he probably would have been like, all right, yeah. I understand. Well, I don't know. But then I found out he had. Oh, this is gonna give up who he is. I can't give up who he is. Ah oh, man, this had a he had a plethora of children. Oh okay, plethora. I mean, up there. That's, and that so would give away I'm who like, he is. A lot of football players do. Yeah, but I gave specific details about him that uh, I think people would be able to put two and two together. Got it. Yeah. And so I I was just like, I felt like I paid the price for the Miami trip. Damn, <laughs> and know? Dick. <laughs> you got your you got your miles in? <laughs> But I said, there is no way. And the thing is, he enjoyed it. So, you know. Even you wincing? uh, He enjoyed it. So, like, even after that trip, he would call me. He would text me. He'd be Mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm I'm in your city. And I'm like. The dick has landed. (laughs) I'm like, I don't want. The dick has landed. No parts. I just, I never had sex with him again. And I don't think he. Understood that's crazy. Why? But I just never. I could not. But that's my Miami host story. I mean, we Ooh. went out and everything. He took me shopping. You know, so I got getting some stuff out of getting it. Getting a dick that was too, way too big is a is a quite a quite a Miami host story. <laughs> that that's pretty much. I feel like a lot of people share that with you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Probably all right, dude. We running out of time, so we gonna do these thick facts real quick because right. I know y'all uh y'all be mad when they ain't. When they ain't, uh, when we skip them over. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna switch mine from the longer one. <laughs> All right, well, mine has to do with something that can give you effects that you wouldn't think. Okay, I'm gonna do mine real quick because it's it is what it is. It's about the word textrovert. So, textrovert. a textrovert Ugh. is someone who is expressive and funny in text, but shy in person. Oh, me. Me. Well, I have had textroverted moments. I think I'm more clever on my text than I am. I just person. like texting. Don't I don't like calling. I don't like all that other stuff. FaceTime. Y'all just have bad communication. Let me just, just read my words. And then my, that's why I love emojis because mm-hmm. they're like, Let's put emotions into these. Y'all sentences. don't even like to use 
them. I use them. I use I random ones. I use them though. to get pussy. How, how but you, if you're if you you're trying to with really, emojis? how do you get pussy with, with emojis? The eyeballs? eyeballs, uh, devil, purple devil head. But those aren't uh, emotions. What I was saying was, I eggplant. like putting emotions in there. Like that's my favorite one. That's my time. favorite one too. But there's also like the new one. That's my favorite one. Is this one? Mm. <laughs> I love that emoji. What was the? There's one that's like it's oh. like this, but uh huh. But no, that's the old one. There's a new version of that. Oh, with the uh, magnifying with the eyeglass. Is that what I'm talking about? Let me let me let me let me let me see. Yeah, I don't like texting. I do like the magnifying glass. Mm-hmm. Um, but some of these new ones are cool. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I like that one too. I like that one too. Um, and the melting one. <laughs> yes. And then this one. These I new ones slap. One. I the new ones low key yeah. slap. I haven't used the 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 salute one. All right, what's your fact? Um, but I'm just gonna say I don't like texting. Um, I'm not huge on that, and so Boom. I feel like that's causing like rifts. Um, what's your fact? Everybody else. Um, all right, nutmeg is a hallucinogen. What? The spice contains. Myristicin, a natural compound that has mind altering effects. Myristicin? Mm hmm. <laughs> so, nutmeg treated as a drug for hallucinogen high. A sprinkle of nutmeg in eggnog or a pinch in apple pie can add the perfect punch to a holiday dessert. But winter's favorite spice also has made headlines for unconventional ways of getting high. It's called a nutmeg high. <coughs> nutmeg contains myristicin, a natural compound that has mind-altering effects if ingested in large doses. The buzz can last one to two days Damn. and can be a hallucinogenic much like LSD. Niggas off that nutmeg. <laughs> oh, I'm fucked up. I'm off that nut. <laughs> uh, according to reports this week from ABC affiliate in Miami, the Florida Poison Information Center at Jackson Memorial Hospital has recently seen a small spike in phone calls reporting people who snorted, smoked, or ate the spice. Absolutely not. Niggas smoking on that nutmeg. Hey, Thanksgiving is coming up. You know, nutmeg being everything. I just took a nut. <laughs> <laughs> I just took some I just took some nut and I'm fucked up. Wait a minute. We're gonna we're we're not gonna press pause. We're gonna press, press stop, stop and eject. Yes. All right, you guys. I hope you like the nut. I hope you like the mag. I hope you liked it all. This has been another episode of Thick Threads. I have to pee so bad. Sorry to rush the ending. I have, I have to, to use I the gotta go. Well. Oh, so we will see you next week. Bye bye. You've been who? Patrick, what? And I'm Persephone. Bye. <laughs>